these were some of the slides I culled earlier, uh, but inspired by Michael's speech uh, that I could see that he's doing a lot of work to get data out. So a lot of the discussion today with CIVI is about getting data in and accommodating it with custom fields, but equally important is getting data out and getting intelligence to inform you to help make good business decisions or decisions about marketing. Um, and just want to share with you uh, beyond what CIVI does, that at some point you might consider, like the, we've heard from Michael, what Michael's doing, he's doing a lot of effort to get stuff out and into Google Sheets. We heard what Gemma is doing with views. At some point you might like to consider uh, using specialist tools, which that's all they do. They just do reporting. Uh, the good news with CIVI, working with CIVI, is it's exciting that you can get to the data because you typically, you host CIVI, you host it on a MySQL database. That means business intelligence tools can get at the data and you can get very interesting reports. Um, so I'll start off with something simple. This is something that plugs into Drupal. It's a module called Farina Reports and it will, uh, it can interrogate across Drupal data, CVCRM data, and other data, but you can start getting other reports which help answer questions like, is my contact database growing? And at what rate is it growing? But you can go further and use a dedicated business intelligence tool. I favour one which is an open source tool called Pentaho. So this is one of your needs, is you need your, your, your management to review campaigns and compare them quickly. So with reports like this, you can, you can sort by clicks and opens, either volume or, or the rates, and get at the data really quickly without any effort. Again, you know, that's my angle being a data scientist. I want to do things, I want to get more insights, but I want to do it with less work. And so at some point, this is a consideration. So these are just more examples. This is asking the question, how are our campaigns performing over time? How many campaigns are we running? Are we running... So th this organisation is definitely managing to get more campaigns out the door. But how are they doing with uh, the general, you know, the number of deliveries, the number of opens and the number of clicks that they're getting? So this gives a good visual to get a trend, how are we doing over time? Then there's another level, I mean, this, we're only scratching the surface here, but there's another level of intelligence that you might want, which is below the campaign level. How is our contact database performing? How many of our contacts, say, how many contacts are we adding to the database each year? That's the top left one. So in this organisation, they added a lot in 2016. Uh, how... How does our contact base distribute by open rate? How many are not opening at all? How good is our database? Are we kidding ourselves thinking we've got a great database? What's the quality of it like? So this is getting at that granular level and then rolling up so you get a big picture but at the, at the detail level. Um, how, what about uh, the, in terms of level of engagement? How are they distributed in terms of the number of months ask them to, to come back with, uh, with an incentive, and it was successful. So this is the value of, of the, getting at this, and the relevance to this audience is, is, is that, uh, you know, the nature of CV and open source, you can get to the data, you can get that intelligence. And you can complete the loop by getting intelligence out. Uh, you might go a step further into analytical modelling but you can take the data, the findings, and get them back into CIVI, into a custom field, which becomes something that you can select on. So you can then take an action. What are we actually going to say to the customers that aren't responding? What are we actually going to say to our, our best constituents who are participating in the events? Do we have different messages for them? So, yeah, I just wanted to share that. This, to me, this is, it's all about ergonomics. You want to go that step further, you might start considering how you get more intelligence um, to understand how your campaigns, but also how to understand how your actual uh, contacts are performing. And are they growing at, at a time? So just wrapping up, this is 
wouldn't normally be good news if your response rates are sort of going down generally over time, but it doesn't tell the whole story. The story is that they've added a lot of contacts to the database, so that's affecting their performance. So this then now changes the conversation to strategies about um, the quality of their contacts and the level of engagement, and perhaps they might need to try some, do some A-B testing to see what might get better engagement. That's it. Great, thanks. <laughs>